Hey everybody, welcome to my suburban oasis. My name is Soleil and we are down here poolside and we are going to do some planting today. I garden in a zone 6A and it is a beautiful, beautiful day out in the mid 70s. So I thought we would take some time to get some plants in the ground and we're going to plant some sandwort and we're also going to do some dividing of some carex that I got recently and hopefully get some of that in the ground as well. So let's take a look at what we're working with here by the pool. So this pool area pretty much gets full sun all day long with the exception of the umbrellas that we have up here. And we have a small area that is planted right back here where I kind of have a path that you can walk through. It's just covered in thyme and a little bit of bugle weed as well or chocolate chip ajuga. And then the sides are lined with some uh, liriope, which is a variegated type. And then I had some chives that were planted back here, but they require a bit of um, deadheading and some maintenance that I don't want to necessarily do. And they also don't really provide that soft edge that I'm looking for. So if you recall in the plant hall, I got these wonderful sandwort plants. These are called Lemon Ice Mountain Sandwort and these go in full sun. So right now the sun is going down so it's a perfect time for us to plant these in this area and they need good drainage which this area has because it's just right here by this retaining wall and so we've got five of them and I think they're going to fill up this area really nicely. So let's get planting. Hopefully what this will do is give me a little bit more of a no or low, really low maintenance um, area back behind these chairs. It'll be something pretty to look at. Help the pollinators soften the edges of this, but still allow people to sit in these chairs without being, you know, bothered by uh, any plants. Don't want anybody being poked while they're trying to relax. This soil in here is really nice and loose. I am planting these just a tiny bit high because I don't have any mulch in this garden bed right now. And so maybe there might be a point where I want to put some mulch in here. probably sooner rather than later, just to prevent any of the weed seeds that I may have dug up or rustled around just by digging in this area. This actually worked out perfectly in terms of the number of plants that I purchased and the space that we have here for them. And hopefully we'll get to see a few more blooms on these plants yet this year. They're supposed to bloom in spring and maybe even a little bit into summer. So that would be nice.
soil is still nice and moist from the rain we got a couple days ago, but I am going to still water it in because I want to settle the soil in really good around the roots of these plants. We don't have any rain in the forecast for the next day or two. plants are also going to deal with this slope better than the chives did because of the fact that these are probably going to kind of creep along the soil. And these are going to look really nice next to the thyme. It kind of has a similar growth habit and a similar type of leaf. Okay, let's get these watered in. Well, I think that looks amazing. I can hear the birds chirping that they love it as well. And we have some sedum down off there to the left, sedum autumn joy. So that should bring some really beautiful color this autumn. But I think this looks lovely along the corner of the deck here and helps keep that really nice low profile along behind the chase lounges. All right, let's head out to the front and we'll see what we can do with the carex that we got and try to divide it and get it planted. Well, here we are in the front garden with our Feather Falls Carex, and these are something that is easy to grow in sun to part shade. These are grown just for their beautiful foliage, which is variegated, and it just looks amazing. So what I want to do is I want to try to divide these before I even plant them. I'm hoping to get more plants out of them than I bought. And these grow in sun to part shade, and um, they're about 18 inches tall and grow about 24 inches wide and um, they are hardy in zones five to zone nine. So let's see what the plant roots look like here. And then we'll get zoomed in so that you can see what I'm going to do. I'm probably gonna grab my hori hori knife and see if we can divide these. So I've got my trusty hori hori knife with me right now. And what I'm gonna be doing is just kind of looking for a nice division um, in the middle of this plant to see if there's kind of a place where I can separate it. So let me bring you in really close while I look for that just so you can get a sense of what I'm looking for. So I'm looking for places where the plant naturally parts for me and you can see there's some nice spots in here where I could get a knife in between them but I'm also going to kind of pull away some of the top parts of the soil around the top. So as I put this knife in, it may make it a little bit easier to see as I kind of hold these apart. And I'm probably gonna go right in here through the center. And I'm going to use the sharp edge of my Hori Hori knife to cross and dig in there. So we're just going to make a nice 
beginning slice in here. And hopefully we will end up with roots for both sides of this division. Just gonna try to show you what we're doing here. So yeah, this looks pretty good. What I can show you is we have some roots that are coming off of this division as well as the shoots up top. And the same goes for this one. So we're gonna try this with the other two plants as well. I can find a nice spot down the middle here where we'll have a natural cut. And I think that we can use this right here. And what I don't want to do is I don't want to damage the stem that's coming out so we don't lose too much of the plant when we do this. But I think we did a good job. So this is what this one looks like here. And we got all of the roots on the back side. And this one's looking good also. So I think you get the gist. Let me get the other one cut up pretty quick here. And then we'll get to planting. This one is so full, it might be even harder to find a spot that is natural to cut through. All right, here we go. This one makes me feel a little less confident. I'm going to actually shove my knife down and do the middle first. Or not, because it's very tough. It does not surprise me that we lost uh, one of the grasses or two of the grasses on this one just because of how incredibly uh, dense the center of it was. But we still have a piece, so actually two pieces that are healthy, I think, out of this that will grow well. So these two might actually be able to root in, but I'm just going to put them aside for now. So what I want to do now is just kind of place these where I'd like to plant them. So I want to make this corner nice and soft. So I want to put a couple um, around the corner and because I don't really have anything that I want to plant there right now. And then we'll line the edge of the sidewalk with this beautiful Carex, which I think will lighten things up really nicely for this area. And I was going to wait till the fall to, to plant in this area, but because this Carex 
is a pretty strong grower. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot. See if we can't get it growing. Well, you guys, I think this turned out pretty good. I like how the front edge is gonna have this nice corner and it will have a real nice soft edge. And then I think I did a pretty good job of lining these up pretty straight. Um, they're definitely spaced pretty appropriately as well. So that's really gonna help us define this garden bed as we move into working on that this fall. And I'm looking forward to getting things a little bit different up here because I feel like it's opening it up and making it more welcoming. So definitely pleased with the things that we got accomplished today. Thank you so much for being here with me in the garden. I really appreciate it when you guys like my video, comment or subscribe or even share my videos with your friends. So thank you so much and I look forward to hearing what you're doing in your garden these days. See you soon. Bye!